would you compare uh, the VE's hiring process to the hiring process here in the States? Uh, that's a very good question. The, the, that was one of the um, surprising elements for us in working with virtual employee. Uh, when we're hiring a, an employee in the States, the process seems to be very long and very arduous. Uh, we sometimes taking up to six months, especially for programmers. Uh, with virtual employee, we are typically given you know six to seven uh, resumes uh, that we can, within just, just a few days, uh, that, that we can review and make our selection to interview. From that point, we interview the, the virtual employee and we are able to make a decision usually within uh, a few days. So the process can oftentimes be under two weeks, which is tremendous compared to what we were used to. Uh, our process uh, internally for local employees would be using an outside staffing agency, which, hire, which charges high fees, and we still have to interview that, that person, uh, and we go through several uh, interview processes. With the virtual employee team, that, that process is, is greatly um, uh, sped up and, and, and our, our, in, uh, our involvement is, is reduced. We do not have the high cost of hiring an outside staffing company. From a human resource cost uh, standpoint, it's much lower in cost. So not only were you able to scale up and scale down, essentially you were also able to pause and play the service. Uh, would you consider this as an advantage? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's an advantage to be able to start a project, scale up and scale down. It's really typically not something you can do with your own employees. Uh, if you're hiring an employee uh, in your company, you're really looking to um, have a permanent member of your workforce and, uh, and, and the training side of it might take several months. You scale up the project, but when the project's done, you generally either have to have more work or you lay the em em employee off. That's not a, a good, um, that's not, that's not a good uh, workflow. So with VE, you can, you can hire an employee for a project, start and stop, and you may not have another project for several months, and then you, you hire for the next project. There seems to be a, a number of, of very good programmers available for any project. Now that you experience um, offshoring to India, what would be your advice uh, to businesses who are looking to offshore? I would say try it. You don't have to be a big company. You don't have to be uh, a large conglomerate to, to offshore. You can, you can be a small uh, one or two person business. You can be a company like ours that has uh, 30 employees and growing, but it's, there's no reason not to, to uh, offshore your, your projects. The idea of outsourcing, um, if you want to grow your company, uh, that really is, is one way to get to where you want to go quickly. If you want to receive uh, uh, customers and, and ideas uh, globally, then you need to be willing to have a global workforce. Would you recommend virtualemployee.com service? Yes, I would. I would recommend it to any company. Well, this, the service is excellent. We work very closely, so um, there's, there ha really hasn't been any issues. We're very happy with the service. Well, Bob, it's, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Wish you all the best and thank you again for inviting us here. Well, thank you. It's been thank my you. pleasure too. Thank, thank you. you. Want to learn how you can save as much as $25,800 to $65,800 per employee per year? And five ways you can hack your business by hiring virtual employees? Then click on the image next to me. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe either for more great tips on outsourcing.